Hey YouTube, what's going on? LockNet just sent me a new beta for a piece of software that I'm actually really excited to show you called Game Keyboard. Now usually this software would just allow you to create an on-screen keyboard or remap physical hardware keys. But this new update brings something that makes it pretty damn epic. The touchscreen mode which allows us of course to map hardware key presses to touchscreen presses or rather the other way around such that games that are usually only touchscreen based can be played with hardware keys so first order of business let's find a touchscreen only game yeah Gameville's new Immortal Dust is a touchscreen only game Eh, I need my network on give me just a sec I'm only going to turn on Wi-Fi because I don't need text messages and calls right now. Gee, you probably should have filmed this a little close. Oh, there we go. And are we cooking with bacon? Yes, now we're cooking with bacon. And just, just create any old class. Any old class will do. Skip all these cutscenes. And as you can see, it doesn't work with the hardware keys at all. So you're trying to play action based games with these really wonky, weird ass touch controls wonky unreliable ass touch controls at that. I know in Gameville Xenonia there's always complaints about the dashing. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how this software works. Or rather set this software up to work right. Right now I have it set up as my regular keyboard. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over to game keyboard. Oh yeah, and it needs super user permission, so you will have to have a rooted phone. Don't know anyone who doesn't root their phone nowadays, so that shouldn't be an obstacle. And did I already touch turn that on? Yes, I did. So what I want to be accomplishing here is... Let's switch back over. What I want to accomplish is making a scheme that makes this overlay the on-screen buttons. And what's going to be neat here is that once I have this set up, then I can export it so that anyone else can use it. So, let's go ahead and start mapping things. D-pad up will be mapped to... D-pad up, D-pad down to, gee they could have put those at the top of the list since they're going to be the most common options, D-pad down, mapping 3 I'll change D-pad left to, D-pad left, D-pad right to... There we go. And I'll just make one more button for attacking D-pad center. Which I will set to Gamepad A. That way you have the D-pad emulated right here on the hardware keyboard and the A button will serve as the attack which will be X on this keyboard. I may have to reposition some things to make that work correctly so enable custom layout and I believe button A is... oh okay just changed to something I previously had so we should already be in business 
and we can check to verify just by holding down the menu button. Yep, A is right where I need it, and the D-pad's there too. And there we go. A touchscreen game fully converted to something you can use with a big boy keyboard. Let's go kick some ass real quick. Oh my god, that feels so much more natural. And that about wraps it up. You can do this for pretty much any game on Android now. We don't have to worry about waiting for developers to support it or anything of the sort. Of course, it'll be more welcome since we'll be able to use that in menus, but beggars can't be choosers. Either way, we now have a universal physical controller solution for everything since we can map those everywhere. Oh, and it even works for the cutscenes, kinda. That's neat. Alright, this is TLR out. Again, the software is called Game Keyboard by Locknet. This version I have is a beta. I don't know quite when it's going to be released to the public yet, so keep your eyes peeled.